Hi, welcome to Oma's Kitchen. Oregano. Let's make some easy bean and cheese burritos. I have a can of refried beans and some flour tortillas. To this, I will add some mayonnaise and Goya Saison. If you've never tried this, it comes in little packets. You want the orange box, not the yellow one. I have some chipotle powder, some chili powder, some onion powder, and some salt. I will include sour cream in mine, but it's optional, and shredded sharp cheddar cheese. Open your can of refried beans and put it into a bowl. Mix it in a little bit, and then you will want to add about a tablespoon of mayonnaise. This provides a creaminess and a little bit of a vinegar kick to your burritos. Then you will add one packet of the Goya Saison. This is not spicy, but it provides a very nice flavor. To that, add whatever spices you'd like. Now I'm using chipotle and chili powder, but you could use ground cayenne pepper or red pepper flakes or jalapenos. It's really up to you how spicy you wanna make this. And you're going to want to mix all of that in together really well. Then cover it over with plastic wrap and put it in the microwave for one to one and a half minutes. Here's my cheddar cheese and optional sour cream, and I'm gonna put my recipe up here for you. Once you've heated your refried beans in the microwave, you'll see the steam come out of there. That helps the tortillas become a little soft while you're rolling your burritos. I get out one of the tortillas and I add about a tablespoon and a half of refried beans to one side of the tortilla. Spread it out a little bit. I will add the same amount, one and a half tablespoons or thereabouts of the shredded cheese, and then about a heaping teaspoon of sour cream. Now there's two ways you can fold it. I'll show you the first way is to fold over the flap first and then fold in the sides. You can make these in one layer and cover them and microwave them to eat soft burritos right away. You can also make a bunch to freeze them, which I like to do, so we can just get them out when we need them. You can also wrap them in aluminum foil and bake them in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. Now this is the other way to wrap them. The first time we wrapped the side over first. This time we will wrap the edges over first. So we will pull in the edges, then flip over the side and roll it up. 
Either way, these stay together pretty well. It's really your own opinion. I'm putting mine in aluminum foil because I'm going to bake them. This makes nice crispy edges that my family loves. This is such a quick and easy meal. Okay, last time I will show you rolling in the edges first and then flipping the side over. My oven is already heating up to 400. So I've made about 10 of them and into the oven they go. We had these as part of a burrito and tamale meal with homemade salsa. It came out great. And there you have it, easy bean and cheese burritos. Thank you for joining me in Oma's Kitchen. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll upload more tasty videos soon. And a special shout out to Moon Pie and Lil Bit. Till next time. Oh, no.